If you want to look up some data within a worksheet or your workbook for that matter, but you have a lot of data to go through, go ahead and use the Find feature. and It can be found up here on the Home tab in the Editing group. And there it is, the big magnifying glass. Click on the drop down arrow and it's right there, Find. Click on it. There you go. Or close out of it, you can use the shortcut keys, Control F. Now with it open, you can go ahead and type in what you want to look for. Like, let's say we want to look for 475. So type it in 475 and then click Find Next, or because the button is highlighted, just hit Enter, and it goes to the first instance of it, and then click Find Next, and it goes to the next one. If you want to find all of them, go ahead and click on Find All. Let me click and drag the title bar of the window up, and then come down here and hover over the bottom border of the window, so you get a two-way arrow pointing up and down. That way we can click and drag to expand it, and there's everything that has 475 on Sheet 1. Now, if I want to go ahead and replace what I have here, 475s with 450, then come up here and click on the Replace tab and go down into the Replace with Field and type in 450. And then you can go ahead and click Replace. And notice whatever cell it was in, it replaced it. You can see the value over here, D6. Then it moved on to the next cell, which is D7. Click Replace. It replaces that with 450. goes to E7. And if you don't want to keep clicking on Replace, 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 go ahead and click on Replace All and a total of five replacements were made after we made the initial first two replacements and then click OK. Let's go ahead and delete that so that way if we want to find all the 450s type in 450 and click on find all it lists them all there but what about anywhere else in the entire workbook? Let's go ahead and close out let's go to sheet 2 hey there's a 450 so let's go back to sheet 1 and do control F and then go ahead and click on find all click and drag the title bar, expand the bottom, and to be able to search the entire workbook and not just everything that's on sheet one, we need to go ahead and expand the options, and it's right there. We need to change the search from within the sheet to the entire workbook, click Find All. Hey, there he is, sheet two. Click on it, takes you right to it. Want to advance to any others? Go ahead and click on it, takes you right to it. In this case, cell E7. You got a lot of other options, not only searching within the workbook worksheet, you can also search by rows, by columns, look in formulas, values, comments, match it so it's the exact case, either uppercase, lowercase, or the entire cell contents. You also get the formatting options. So if I'm looking for 450, but it has a specific format applied to it, then I can click on the drop down arrow and say, let me set the format. Click on it, opens up the find format window. And you can say the format I'm looking for is in currency, the alignment is maybe horizontal, this alignment, the border, the fill, let's do the font. And let's say we're looking for something bold. Click okie dokie, and you can see a preview of it, a format, with the text preview is in bold. So if I go ahead and click find all, it didn't find anything. And what it didn't find is it didn't find any number with 450 that was in bold. So if I go ahead and delete that and say just find anything that's bold and click find all, it did. Hey, you can see right there is the camping gear US and the UK. And I can click and toggle in between the two by using the links down below. Now this is important because if you go ahead and you close the options and you're thinking, oh, let me go ahead and find 450 and you type in 450 and click find all, it can't find any. So you may be like, oh, what the fudge? What's going on? You want to expand the options to make sure that you clear the formatting that's been currently applied to the search. So click on the drop down arrow and say that you want to clear find format. So you're back to zero. So when you click on find all, it'll find everything well within the workbook that doesn't have any formatting applied to it or that we set to search for it. Then the other option that you get, let me go ahead and close out, is let me set that cell to make it red and also this one to be in red. And click out of there and do control F is that if you have a cell that has a bunch of formats applied to it, you know, it's kind of a pain to click on the drop down arrow and choose format and then say, okay, I'm looking for it to be in bold. Also, for this number, it's got to be in currency for that alignment. That's annoying. What you can do as a shortcut is to click on the format drop down arrow and say that you want to choose all the formatting that has been applied to a single cell. That makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Go ahead and click on it, and when you do that, it collapses and disappears, and you get a little plus sign. That means it's in selection mode, and you get that little dropper over to the right of it, meaning that it wants to take a sample of that cell by sucking it up into the dropper, whatever cell that you select. So if I go ahead and select that cell, it pops it open, pulls out 
all the formats that have been applied to that cell, which is just one red. So that way, when I go ahead looking for what, 450 that has red applied to it, and I click on Find All, it only found one. It doesn't find the other one because we're looking for 450. But if I want to go ahead and clear this out and say just find anything that has red applied to it or that formatting that we pulled from that cell, which could be more than just red, depending upon, I guess, as an indicator, the preview, then click on Find All, and it found both of them, the 450 and the 500. And then again, be sure that when you're done to clear it because when you close out of here and you try to do another search and you didn't clear it, uh, you'll think that you don't have anything within your workbook or worksheet depending upon where you're looking. And that could be not good, especially if it's something really important that you're looking for. So click on the drop down arrow, clear it, and then go ahead and close out. So next time you do control F, there's no format set to it. Even with the options being collapsed, you don't have to worry about it. But you may want to double check when you do your search if you do this a lot. I've done it sometimes where I forgot to clear it and I'm like, oh, good gravy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me, so for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free, and for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.